Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Mark and in today's video we'll be looking at the transfer tool and integrated Kerbal alarm clock system that has been included in this update 1.12 of this version of Kerbal Space Program. Now I have to be honest with you I usually like to do things manually. Um, I've, really, I've never really used an alarm clock before um, and I've used MechJeb of course but uh, this should be a testament to how easy this is <laughs> this is to use because I'll be honest with you I I think I got this thing down in uh, just one or two tries it's actually pretty darn easy and very very efficient so one thing you want to do is make sure that you have a nice circularized orbit I got yelled at the first time by the transfer tool it wouldn't do anything until I cut it nicely circularized which isn't that big a deal but uh, we're going to be going to the MUN in this case. So if you look at the two tools on the right hand side, you see one looks like a snowflake. It's the transfer tool. And of course, the alarm clock looks like an alarm clock. It allows you to pick any of the bodies uh, included in Kerbal Space. Um, we're going to be focusing on the MUN. Um, these two buttons here just change the format of the time. I'm not 100% sure what they do. If you know, let me know in the comments below. And of course, you're going to want to create an alarm, which is how it integrates nicely with the alarm system. So once you hit create, boom, you'll see. I mean, within seconds, you have an encounter. Um, an encounter that I found fairly accurate. And I've done this about five or six times with different with different vehicles, always the same. Um, very nice. But you can always adjust using the tabs of your node in order to get it into the orbit or uh, the altitude you need, inclination, whatever the case is. But again, very, very useful. And in this situation, we have about an eight day wait. I don't know if you can read the numbers. They're pretty small, pretty blurred out for me. But I do, I, I do remember they were about an eight day wait and about a 29 second burn time, which actually is pretty darn good. But what I was curious about was what would happen if I decided to try this manually to see if the transfer tool is any more efficient. <clears throat> so I'm sure you folks have done this before. And if you have not, if you're going to do this manually to the MUN, you want to kind of think of it like the clock where Kerbin is in the center. You're going to want the MUN at about three o'clock. You're going to enter, you're going to hit it at about noon. So your transfer tool is going to start at six o'clock. And as you stretch out your orbit, um, slowly you will surely get an encounter depending on your inclination i usually keep it pretty pretty flat with respect to the moon okay and sure enough in this situation we got an we got an encounter fairly quickly a little dialing in here and when we go and focus on the the mun uh you'll see that we have an encounter a very nice one in fact it's fairly fairly level um uh, with the same inclination we had with uh with Kerbin and you can adjust it accordingly, but the interesting I think I found is that it's still a 29 second burn, yet I only have to wait eight minutes for it to occur. Now, I don't know why the discrepancy. If anybody has any suggestions, please let me know, but it doesn't look like one is any more efficient than the other. But with the Kerbal alarm clock system, it doesn't matter. <laughs> eight days, eight minutes, it'll stop you when it needs to stop you. So what I wanted to do was take a look at going to another planet. In this case, I chose Eve. So if you choose Eve, and you hit create, keeping the the create alarm checked, you'll see that once you hit it, you have an escape trajectory. And if you dial out and you look at the galaxy, so to speak, you should see once we get to Eve, come on Eve, where are you? There you are. You can see already that our node has got us an encounter with Eve, which I'll be honest with you, whenever I try to go to Eve, it takes me quite a few attempts at dialing in the angles and, and the timing and such this is just wonderful i don't care how long it takes to get there it just makes it so much faster um, and again as you focus in on eve there's our encounter of course it's not the best <laughs> better than i can do manually but if you get into the same orbit of the sun as eve you can adjust this accordingly get a better encounter but i'll tell you this takes a lot of the guesswork right out of it um it's about a one year and 100 100 day uh wait time before the node and of course the burn is only about 30 something seconds i gotta say pretty effective pretty efficient and again with the Kerbal alarm clock integrated into this who cares if it's a hundred a, a year and 107 days do some other uh missions while you're at it it doesn't matter or just fast forward it the alarm clock will stop you when it needs to stop you and trying this one more time just to see how easy it was i went and chose duna hit create escape trajectory and when we scroll out you will see that even duna going outwards from our um <laughs> into the outer scope of our 
universe share we see that our encounter is actually fairly good as well there again not the perf not perfect but once you get in the same circular orbit of the sum as duna you can adjust it make it more fine-tuned and accurate so that you can make it efficient but i'll tell you another 30 something b second burn in a one year 107 day wait or whatever it is but again i'm very excited about this this is going to take a lot of the guesswork out now some of you folks are probably pros at transferring to planets i was never that great this is going to make my life very very simple so folks thank you so much for watching hopefully you found this informative um i'll tell you right now if i can do this you folks can do it too a very useful tool um if it helped you out please feel free to leave a like hit the subscribe button um but i i really enjoy doing these videos so if you have any suggestions or comments or any corrections that i need to take care of please leave them in the comments below but until then thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you next time on my channel take care